Hey guys you welcome to this youtube space so before we go right in into making the modesto panel we need to understand what it is right so a modesto panel is a piece of fabric that fits on your back beneath the laces to protect your skin from the friction of the lacing and to hide or cover your skin so that's literally the job of a modesto panel according to the word modesty panel so it's you know bring some form of decency right so i'm going to show you pictures so this picture you're seeing on the screen is a picture of a corset without a modesty panel as you can see the skin is revealing at the back the listening session so this other picture is a picture of a corset that has a modesty panel so as you can see the skin is fully covered so with this explanation we already know that a modesty panel is often placed on a corset back pattern and because of this reason zip allowance is not needed at all when drafting corsets with modesty panel rather you subtract one or two inches from um, the draft already drafted back pattern so for me i decided to subtract one inch because i do not want a wide space at the back so i'll just go ahead and mark the one inch across this um lines so you go ahead and mark um, your one inch or your two inch, but the highest you should go is two inch. So you go ahead and do your necessary draftings that are required on your back pattern that you want on your back pattern. And you also go ahead and cut it out. So I'm going to go ahead right now and do the cuttings on my back pattern. Remember the one inch removed from the back was done when the back pattern was on fold. So when you open it, you should have two inches at the back space. So if you are to cut out two inches from your back pattern, so when you open it, you should have four inches at your back space. So fast forward um the fabrics has been joined together so we'll go ahead and take the necessary measurements needed to you know cut out a modesty panel so for that um you go ahead and measure the width for the modesty panel by measuring from this last that year to this other that year for me i got seven then you go ahead and measure the length um for the modesty panel that you cut out for the modesty panel so for the length i have 14 and a half inch so with this um, measurement these are the two important measurements you do need so you can see i have a fabric here and i have gone ahead to iron a strong gum stay on it this gum stay is called Addis gum stay add it's very hard so you need to you know iron a very hard interfacing so that it will not fold up when you place the panel on your back so that when you wear it it won't start folding i don't know if you understand so we'll go right ahead and measure so remember i have 14 inches a uh, 14 and a half inches i'm going to subtract one from it and add half an inch for sewing allowance so if you subtract one from 14 inches you have 13 right so you add half an inch for sewing allowance so that's what i just did right here so that's how i marked 13 and a half inch for the length i hope you don't understand because your modesty panel is not supposed to be very long it's supposed to be um let me see your main corset is supposed to be one inch longer than your modesty panel i hope this explains it so i've gone ahead to add um one and a half inch for the width as well the width measurement so i add seven inch so adding one and a half inch makes it eight and a half inch so that's what i am marking out right now so make sure you had it um you iron a very strong interfacing to your fabric 
for your modesty panel please ensure you do that to have a perfect modesty panel so i'll go right ahead and you know cut this out so please watch the way i am doing it then you go right ahead and join this together by sewing on the wrong side of the fabric then you leave like five inch on one side to turn it over to the right side of the fabric so i'll show you this after sewing so you would understand also go ahead and cut out 1.5 inch fabric that is two yards long and sew it together and turn the long group to the right side this will be used for the loops so you go ahead and cut it two inches each just the way you see me cutting so you go ahead and um, do that so these um, two inches we are cutting at is what we're going to use for the loops So you're going to do that all through till you get get to the end of this rope. So guys, this is it. I am done cutting everything two inches. They are all equal. So next thing you're going to bring in your main um, fabric um, that you have sewn together. So you go ahead and mark a straight line on the right side of your fabric at the center back where you want your loops to be sewed on or attached to, you grab. So you just mark a straight line, that's what I am doing right now and as you can see I have you know, marked out the straight line. So it's on this line I will sew the ends of my loop. I have taken one piece and I have placed it like so, like a C on the line so that means i placed one end like um, this on the line then i bent it over bent that piece over and placed the other end on that same line so it's just like a c as you can see it's like a c then i'll take another of the piece and place it close to the first piece and that's how i'm going to do it till i get to the end of this fabric you understand the end of this um, top of this blouse that's how I'm going to do it so you sew on this end on this straight line hope you grab once I sew it I'm going to show you guys how it is so you're just going to do this till you get to the end of the blouse or top or whatever it is till you just get to the end that's just it I have sewn in the loops now like so so this is what you should have on your back pattern as well and i have done the same thing on the other side of the back pattern too next step you bring in the modesty panel and as you can see i have joined the modesty panel together by closing up those ends and creating an opening here where I turned it over and stitched on it. At this point, you can leave it like this and whenever you put on the outfit, you just, you know, put it in and lace it up. That is, there is no need for you to sew the modesty panel if that's what you want. You can just leave it like this separately if that is what you desire. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to sew it to the fabric. So you go ahead and place it in between your fabric and your lining and then you're going to run a stitch on that same straight line that you run a stitch on before so as i earlier stated always make sure you double stitch on your loops so that it does not pull out so as you can see i have gone ahead to you know run the stitching and you can see how beautiful it came out so this is the house comb guys this is the hard comb. You can see how beautiful the loops and the modesto panel is looking. So at this point, you go ahead and lace up your modesto panel. Make sure the rope you are going to use for the lacing is two yards long or two and a half yards long. If the person is on the big side, then it should be two and a half yards um, long. But if the person is on the normal side and you know it should be two yards long so that it will be enough for your lacing and for your tying so that's just it so this is how you go ahead and you do your lacing and this is how lacing is done so if you did enjoy this video 
make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button <laughs> so i'll be making another video of two other method you can also use to attach your modesto panel to your corset but these two methods that i have mentioned here and you know showed you guys are the most simplest and easiest method which is you know you not sewing the modesto panel to the corset but rather you just place it in whenever you want to lace the corset or you just attaching it the way i did so they are the most easiest i won't lie you but the other methods i will also get to make a video on how to go about those other two methods and i will drop the link on the description box so see you on my next video love ya Mwah.